County legislators called a news conference today to talk about the possibility of Brockport being a quarantine campus. Jack, Wa Jack Watson live at the county office building right now. Jack, they're not happy about how all this is being rolled out. No, Adam, they're not. Uh, we just heard from lawmaker Mike Zale, uh, who represents Sweden. He's criticizing the lack of communication, what he perceives as a lack of communication between New York State and the public on this. Now, I have a statement uh, from those two Monroe County lawmakers. I just want to read from it here. He says, it is troubling that residents and local leaders have been kept in the dark about the state's plan to house study abroad students returning from coronavirus inflicted areas at SUNY Brockport. Now, I also want to give some proper context here. Governor Cuomo sending SUNY abroad students home after the coronavirus outbreak in many parts of the world. County Executive Adam Bello says that if SUNY Brockport is chosen, the school would only host students who have been tested and aren't showing any signs of infection. But Zale is criticizing what he says is a poor response from New York State. That really started to trouble me in the fact that nobody knew for certain, nobody knew for sure. And while the details were all coordinated uh, amongst different levels of government, the problem was is that nobody knew exactly what the governor was going to do. And it was very clear to me that even on a more local level, very few people actually knew what was going on. Adam, I just want to say one more time here, we don't have word yet on where those students specifically will be going, but we do know that they're coming back within the next couple of days. Adam. All right, Jack, thank you. Jack live from the county office building for us right now.